It shook New York City this morning. The 4.8 quake also hit central New Jersey, sending tremors throughout much of the Northeast that millions of people felt. Michael George is in Times Square with reaction. A camera on the top of the Statue of Liberty shows the effects of the 4.8 magnitude earthquake that struck the Northeast. These dogs jumped to attention as the shaking rocked homes. And a meeting at the United Nations was briefly interrupted. You're making the ground shake. <laughs> Initially, many thought the shaking was caused by something else. I don't know if this is an earthquake, so I feel like I'm going to sit down. I don't think it is, but I think it's just the construction, but it's very weird. And it scared me. It was a relatively strong earthquake for the Northeast, though it caused minimal damage. Safety crews here in New York City are checking buildings and bridges to make sure they didn't suffer any structural damage. The earthquake that just hit New Jersey is one of the largest that's ever hit the New York City area. Dr. Judith Hubbard is a geologist that specializes in earthquakes. She says the ground in this area causes more widespread shaking compared to a similar quake on the West Coast. The location where the earthquake happened is on a fault that we know about. It's a really super old fault that probably formed about 200 million years ago when North America first split off of Africa. State and local officials are warning residents to be on alert for aftershocks. But we're ready for the unexpected. This is New York City, and we respond accordingly. Experts say there's a small chance of an even larger earthquake in the months ahead. The strongest earthquake to hit the East Coast in decades was back in 2011 when a 5.8 magnitude struck Virginia, cracking the Washington Monument.